Let's see if I can get through this without getting hit. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. This one's going to be slightly different, but still the same flavor of the other Remnant from the Ashes videos that I have here on the channel. This one is on a side quest called Martyr Sanctuary, and this is how you get a special armor set that you can get, which I will get to once we actually get to the location. In order to get to Martyr Sanctuary, though, we have to go through the Temple of the Ravager, which we're about to go do right now. So, with that being said, let's go do it. Alright, so this one can be a little bit tough uh, for people who ha haven't experienced this kind of stuff because there's a lot of archers, and these archers can be brutal. So let's go ahead and go around and loot while we're here. Because, why not, right? We're already here, might as well. Not that I need loot. I already have a ton of loot. Still trying to, you know, get this girl to level up to the max. Oh, there goes the fire guy. Gotta take care of that guy first. Ah! Uh, you guys can have that though. Let me go ahead and heal. I actually really enjoy using the blood worth. What is that? Oh god, it's one of these guys. And die. Those elites really are not that tough. Who is shooting me? Oh, I see you. I see you, boo boo. Very nice. Is there another one? Absolutely not. That was rough. Sometimes, uh, it's something to keep in mind. Sometimes, I'll about to say, there's like a Tome of Knowledge or even a an item right around here. So, definitely look up here every single time you come by here. And also, something I noticed, there's almost always a item and a Tome of Knowledge in each section of the game. So... Not off, not all the time, but at least not that I've noticed, but just about every time. I missed quite a few. Also, up there, there's also sometimes a lot of stuff, like a Tome of Knowledge or even an item. So if you come to the side and go up the stairs, typically it'll be right around this corner. It'll be right about right here. But right around this corner, there's almost always a chest too. So definitely go ahead and loot that. I definitely missed an item, but it's okay. Who are you? And what do you want from me? Is that all you got? Very, very nice. Alrighty. So this place is definitely a kill spot for you. So you got to beware. There you go. This is definitely a point in this game where you're just way too strong. Er. Goodbye. Oh, you got me? Oh, and look what I found. All right, Vengeance Idol. Obviously, I already have all the items uh, on this character, so this is not really going to benefit me at all. But if you want the Vengeance Idol, that's a location that you can get it from. And where is it at? All right, it's right here. It increases the ranged and melee damage by 50% when the wearer's health is below 25%. So it's it it can definitely come in useful if you are want to do that kind of you know build and stuff, but... Definitely not my cup of tea. I don't like being low on health, even though I haven't invested any points in Vigor or Endurance. Alright, and as you can see, we are in the Martyr's Sanctuary. So this is basically just a survive the attack type of mission or event. 
or whatever, but it is a side mission. And once you actually come in here to Martyr Sanctuary, there's going to be nobody attacking you. What you need to do is go all the way to the back to where you see that golden door. And it's going to lock you in and then they're going to spawn a bunch of waves of enemies against you, as you can see. And you just have to survive. It's really not that tough. I like to just stand over here. It definitely makes it a lot easier. And it slowly goes up as you progress. Let's see if I can get through this without getting hit. Oh, nope, nope. That didn't happen. It's all good, though. Let's go ahead and heal. And I think we're... We got one more wave, actually. Oh. I, I guess I should probably pay attention, huh? Just a little bit. They're probably dead. Oh, that guy survived. Whoa. There you go. I really don't like those fire guys. But here, you guys can have that. Thank you very much. Thank you for playing. And I think we're actually done. If you see the door, you're pretty much done. There it is. So now that that's complete, obviously there's going to be no more waves of enemies, but you're going to be allowed to access it in here. And voila. This is the set that you get. It's called the Elder Set. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, of course, I already have it. Um, let me find it here for you. So the Elder Set has the Believer's uh, effect on it. And basically, it gives you the chance to not consume... Uh, oh, and actually, uh, Dragon Hearts heal allies within 30 meters with 50% base effectiveness and increases their damage dealt for 10 seconds so this is definitely one of those pieces uh or, or armor sets that benefits the team here and i'm gonna put on the entire set for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like and that's the set right here on a female of course i think it looks pretty all right uh not my cup of tea and not my type of gameplay or game style or whatever so there's that so, I know these videos are a little bit shorter than average, but these are just intended to be little quick walkthroughs of each dungeon leading to a boss or a side mission. So, if this is something that you guys are enjoying, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I will definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.